All right. So we're now going to define the four vectors. So defining force vectors. Okay. So previously I stated or noted down this equation. Okay. So the force vector is equal to the product of its magnitude and its unit vector. So we're going to use this to define the forces in each of the structures. So um, let force and support one. Uh, let's call that um, let's call that F A B. It says, uh, yeah, so yeah, let's call that FAB. Okay. In terms of support two, um, we're going to call that FAC. And in terms of support three, let's call that FAD. So therefore, the force vector F A B in terms of that is going to be equal to the magnitude of F A B respect to its unit vector A B for F AC, so the force vector is going to be equal to F AC, the magnitude multiplied by the unit vector AC. Then the last unknown force AD, that's going to be equal to its magnitude AD times its unit vector lambda A. Okay, so this is basically what we need to do. So let's define this, let's expand that. So a force vector F I J. So F A B is equal to F A B times its unit vector. So what was the unit vector for A B? Okay, so A B we got zero point five four nine four I plus 0 0.1374j minus 0 0.8242k. And that's in newtons, okay? So let's not forget that. So that's basically what that force vector is. And we're going to do likewise for each of the forces, and we're going to expand that, okay? So... That's going to be naught point five four nine four F A B. Let's call that I plus naught point one three seven four F A B. J. I'm going to continue here. Minus 0 0.8242 F A B subscript K. So let's do it that way. All right. So there we have it. So we're going to do likewise for all the other force vectors. 
And then once we've done that, we're then going to apply the equations of equilibrium. Okay. All right, folks, so using that same methodology, we've worked out all the four vectors. So the next part is to now work out the known forces. So we're going to get three sets of equations. So this is where the equations of um, equilibrium comes into play. So the sum of all forces in all the respective planes should equate to zero, okay? So uh, regarding my students, that's basically you looking at lecture two when we talked about forces and moments, right? So this is what I've decided to do. So to make life easy in terms of tracking um, the equations, to then simplify the equations to work out the unknowns, I've created this grid, okay? So we're going to look at these columns. So the first row, all the sum of the forces in X is equal to zero with we'll that back there. Some of the forces in Y, some of the forces in Z, and then respect to the various vectors, okay? Now, one thing you also need to remember is that there's also the force that's acting on the structure. So we shouldn't make it a point to forget, all right? So let's not forget this force there, okay? So let's not forget that, all right? So with the sense going down, that's basically going to be minus 10. And since it's only traveling in the K plane, so that'll be 10, minus 10 K kilonewtons, okay? But I'm going to be working the base of kilonewtons, so I'm not really going to bring the K in, okay, until the final results, all right? So this is basically what I've been talking about, okay? All right, so now let's log down all the forces. So the first force to log down will be this one here, all right? So this would be zero point five four nine four F A B I. Then the next one would be Zero point one two seven four F A B J. Then our next part will be minus zero point eight two four two F A B K. All right, so that's that one there. And we do likewise for FAC, so that will be zero here. It only has Y and Z, so that will be 0 0.3846 FAC. And its K component will be minus zero point nine two three one F A C. Okay, then for F D, so we have the I and the Z and y is zero. So that will be zero here. This part will be minus 0 0.24 FAD. And then this part is minus 0 0.979 FD. Then come into F10, so, so that is the ply force. So again, origin to the ply force, okay? So this is going to be this part's going to be naught, naught, and we're going to have our minus 10 here, okay? And all that 
which is equate to zero. Okay, so there we go. So the next part is to now look at all the x's, look at the relationship of the forces to each other, and we're going to substitute whatever we get into one equation, and then we're going to work for one unknown, and then we're going to work backwards to figure out the forces and the rest of the support. Okay, so I've intentionally done this table form, so that makes it very easy to identify how you're tracking um, your information. Okay, so this part we're going to look at the forces with respect to x. So sum of the forces in x is equal to zero. So this translates in terms of our chart to be zero point five four nine four F A B minus zero point two four um zero point two zero four and that is F D and all that is equal to zero. So therefore let's see. Um so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make look at the relationship in terms of F D and F B. So therefore F A B is equal to zero point two four uh zero point two zero four F D over 0 0.5494 and that'll be equal to so if we get our trusty calculator what do we get now if you're wondering why i'm going snow because this is a work along okay so i'm not working for me so i need to make sure that i'm going nice and slow so it makes it easy for you to follow um, what i'm doing okay So this is equal to 0 0.3713 FD. Okay, so we've worked out one relationship. So we're going to look at some of the forces and Y is equal to zero. So what do we have in terms of the Y? So we've got 0 0.1274 FB plus 0 0.3846 FC is equal to zero, okay? So we have 0 0.1274 FAB plus 0 0.3846 FAC, and that's equal to zero. So we're going to work out the relationship in terms of FB and FC. So FAB is equal to minus 0. 3846 FAC over 0 0.1274. Okay. And once we simplify, FAB is equal to, so let's bring our handy calculator, so 0 0.3846 divided by 0 0.1274 and that's equal to minus 3.0188 FAC. All right, folks, so this is what we've done. So we've worked out and looked at the relationship of FB respect to FAD and FAB respect to FAC. So we can 
use to summon the forces in the K plane or Z to figure out what FAB is. Then once we've figured out what FAB is, then we can then substitute AFB in the various um, relationships to figure out what um, the other forces in the support is likely to be in terms of the magnitude, okay? So this makes life easy. Now, some people are asking, why not simply just create a matrix formula? Yeah, I could do that. But um, as I said, um, I'm also factoring the students that I'm teaching on the design program and they haven't really done that. So I'm just doing it um, in the manner that makes it easy for them to follow. OK, but again, it's up to you. Um, if, you've, if your calculator's got a metric solver, then you can just simply put in um, the various unknowns, you know, create your uh, metrics and solve for the unknown. OK, so you can do it that way. But I'm just doing it step by step for the purpose of my students. OK, all right. So the next part, we're now going to look at this equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to then substitute all my FBs with respect to um, AFC and AF, uh, AFAD with respect to AFAB and work out AFB. And there we have it. Okay. So it's not as complicated. Yeah, there's a lot of figures to track, but again, very important that you work out your problem in such a way that it doesn't make it too tedious in terms of um, tracking your numbers. Okay. So we now have minus 0 0.8242 FAB minus 0 0.9231. So this is FAC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute FB respect to AFC, okay? So if I'm going to do it that way, then this would then convert in terms of FAC to be FAB over minus 3.0188, all right? So I'm just going to substitute this value into the equation. So this becomes over minus 3.0188 FAB. And the next equation, or the next part of the equation, is minus 0 0.979 FD. So I'm going to replace that in terms of FAB. And we've done that here. So therefore, FAD is equal to FAB divided by 0 0.3713. So I'm going to substitute this into the K equation here. All right. So this becomes minus. 0 0.979 over, so we have 0 0.3713 FAB. But we shouldn't forget there's one other component in terms of the Z plane, minus 10. So minus 10, and all that equates to zero. So we're now going to simplify this equation, all right? Then once I've done that, then you can group, uh, we're going to um, solve the problem by making F, A, B the subject and find out what the corresponding magnitude is, okay? So this becomes minus 0 0.8242. FAB plus, so I'm going to do the division for that, so that will be 0 0.9231 divided by 0 
um, divided by 3.0188. So that gives 2.0957 FAB minus 0 0.979 divided by 0 0.3713 and that's equal to minus 0 0.6077 FB minus 10 and all of that's equal to zero okay so we can now sum up all the fbs so if we sum up the coefficient of the fbs what do we get so we have minus 0 0.8242 plus 2.0987 0 minus 0 0.6077 and that gives 0 0.6638 f a, B, minus 10, and that's equal to 0. So therefore, F, A, B is equal to 10, divided by 0 0.6638. And we shouldn't forget that the unit is kilonewton. So this is equal to inverse of that times 10. And that gives 15.0648 kilo newtons. So we've worked out FB. We can work out the rest, right? Okay. So we've worked out FB. So FB is equal to 15. 0 0.0648 kilonewtons. Once I've worked out the other components, then I'll just uh, summarize everything in terms of two decimal places. Okay. So we can now work out the rest. So I've done a simplification here. So therefore, FAC is equal to, so again, we've already written the relationship. So this will be equal to 15, 0, 6, 4, 8, divided by minus 3.08188. And that's kilonewtons. That's equal to 15.0648. Divided by 3.08188, and that's equal to minus 4.9903 uh, kilonewtons. Okay, so does the negative result indicate that maybe? the reaction is in the other direction? Could be. All right. And then in terms of F, A, D. Okay. So the direction is opposite. It's not going down. It's actually going up, which makes sense. Because again, for the structure to be in equilibrium, the force needs to be in the positive sense. So the negative is more or less giving us an indication that we need to change um, our initial assumption for FC. And it turns off FD. So what did I say about FD previously? So FD is equal to FAB divided by 0 0.3713. So that's equal to 15.0648 or divided by 0 0.3713.
and that is in kilonewtons. So this is equal to 15.0648 divided by 0 0.3713 and that's equal to 40.5731 kilonewtons. So to summarize, so to summarize, so the summary, F A B is equal to 15.1 kilonewtons or 15 points, okay, let's do it. I said two decimal places, so zero, six. FAC, that is equal to 4.99 kilonewtons. Then FAD is equal to 40. Point five seven kilonewtons. Okay, so that is for support one. That one there. So let's just put that in. So that is fifteen point zero six kilonewtons. AC, so this is 4.99 kilonewtons in terms of the magnitude, and in terms of FAD, that is 40 point. So it means that that there, based on its um, installation, that's going to endure a lot of the forces. So we have 40.57 kilonewtons. And there we have it. So let me just write support. Support two, and that's support three so hopefully um, if you have a problem similar to this you can use a similar methodology to work out the known forces within a strut okay so to the next time bye for now bye, bye, bye.